in this how to we are going to uh, learn how to work with multiple result sets using data set there might be scenario where your store procedure having a two uh, select statement and that will naturally return two result set so in that kind of scenario instead of using a data table with the sql adapter you will have to use uh, data set so when you will call the uh, sql adapter dot fill method instead of passing data table we, you will have to pass data set uh, so that both uh, more than one result sets uh, will be converted into more than one data tables inside the data set so let us learn uh, how how to do that so for that what we have done is that we have created two grid view on the aspx space as uh, uh, described earlier grid view is nothing but a data control that helps us to uh, present the data in the tabular format on the page so here i have two grid view grid view 1 and grid view 2 and in the code behind what we are doing is that we are uh, uh, we are first keeping the underscore con str variable that will be page level variable that basically uh, retrieve the database connection string from the web.config file this one and then under the page load event what we will do is that we will write our code I'm going to explain that code whatever I'm going to copy paste from this ebook okay so here is my code now let's see what is written in this code okay so here what we have is that uh, please hold on it looks like there is some problem here yes here what we have is that uh, in the page load event we have first instantiated the data set and then we have instantiated the database connection by passing the connection string and then in the sql variable we have two selected statements the first is getting the data uh, from the personal detail table and then we have a specified semicolon and the second one is getting the files information from the files table so in this case we have two selected statement in the sql the same scenario can be in your stored procedure also so in a stored procedure when you are writing multiple selected statement you do not need to separate them out with the semicolon you can simply write two selected statement now when we will execute using the um, data adapter then what will happen is that when we write uh, data adapter dot fill method then because this uh, uh, select statement this equal variable having two selected statements so it will return two result set from the uh, from the from the database and both result sets will be uh, saved into the data set as two table okay if we will pass a data table here only instead of data set we could have passed data table object here then only first uh, select statement uh, records would have been uh, filled into the data table but because here we have to work with the multiple uh, result set so we have passed data set here so in this data set now we will have two table because there is two select statement here and both tables we will be able to access through its indexer so d set dot tables of zero that will have the records from the personal detail and d set dot tables of one that will have the uh, result set of the second selected statement and uh, we are uh, setting the data source of grid view and then we are calling the data bind method in both of the grid views so what it will do is that when we will run this page it will basically um, populate the personal detail into the first uh, grid view and the files information into the second grid view let me run this page and show you how it is looking like so here is my uh, and it is looking like see here the first grid view and the second grid view okay so it's pretty simple as long as your SQL statement or stored procedure is returning two or more than uh, one uh, uh, result set uh, you can uh, simply use the data set and forget about everything else you do not need to worry about anything else you just uh, uh, use the data set in the fill method and uh, uh, based on the number of uh, statements selected statement written into the sql uh, your uh, data set will be filled with the that number of uh, tables and you will be able to retrieve those tables only using the indexers now in the last how to we saw that how to work with multiple resources using the data set but in this how to we are going to 
learn that how to work with multiple result sets using SQL data reader and this can be uh, the same applies to the OLED data reader or any other edu.net data reader so for that also we have to uh, uh, get view on the SPX page so let me just do the same thing here I think we already have however just let me copy paste so that it will exactly replicate the code that is written into the uh, ebook and then we have again the same thing here underscore con str so here is my underscore con str that is getting the uh, con database connection string from the web config file and here is my uh, code under the page load event so let me just copy paste the code under the page load event yes and then looks like we are done there is one more problem somewhere yes okay here also yes now here you can see that uh, I have as usual instantiated the SQL connection past the database connection string and this uh, is SQL variable have also two selected statement one is getting the record from the personal detail and another is getting record from uh, files, uh, files table and then uh, we have uh, instantiated the SQL command by passing the SQL uh, variable that we have two selected statement and then uh, database connection and then open the connection uh, SQL connection and then this is important here we have executed the reader uh, of the of the SQL command and that will basically give a reader object and in this reader object what we will do is that because this reader object will have two result set so first result set we will simply specify with the data source of the git view and then we will call the data bind and then in order to, to retrieve the next result set from the reader object we will have to call the reader dot next result set method and that will basically shift the cursor to the next result set into the reader and then when we will specify the data source of the uh, git view to the reader then this will basically populate the results the second result sets from the reader so the important point here is the next result method of the reader object now let me run this page and let me show you, uh, show you what the the result now here here you can see that let me close it out and so run it again now here here you go you, you can see that first a uh, gateway is populating with the personal detail uh, uh, record and second gateway is being populated with the uh, files uh, information now let me uh, write one more column here let me put one active also here to make sure that this result is being populated so let me refresh this page and now you can see the active record is also coming